It's locked. Welcome back, Dr. Reed. Would you like to take communion with me now? Sean, are you eating raw flesh? It is the sacred flesh of the mortal lamb. Our Lord's bountiful transmutation for the sustenance of his believers. Thank you, Lord. I am your most humble servant. So, true to your word, you waited for my return. I told you, Dr. Reed, I was a man to be trusted. Did you have words with the poor Harriet? This shelter is the tip of the iceberg. You hide your game well, I'll give you that. We are God's children, Dr. Reed, one and all, and he's determined to save us. Does this place belong to you? How can you be so certain you can keep it open? This warehouse was once property of the Dawson family, but has been bequeathed me through donation. The Dawsons? The wealthiest family in London? Have they a clue as to what goes on here? Not at all. The donation was made before the war. The building was run down. I never met Aloysius Dawson myself. So you have the run of the place, and no one's taken notice? As long as we keep to ourselves, we interest no one. This is a haven, and I pray it remains so for eons to come. What will be the result if you continue to assist both Skulls and the living? For the last decade, that's what's been happening. And they found a better life. What's to change? You're forgetting the epidemic. Things can go south very quickly. I've seen it. Oh, these are terrible times. Only those pure of heart shall prevail. You've turned Scal now. Don't you see the danger to anyone giving you their trust? We are all sinners, awaiting salvation. This is a simple truth, ordained by the Lord Almighty. I am a seeker of his glorious light. Harriet, Miss Jones has been behaving in a most violent manner. She's going to need special attention. That's precisely the reason I brought her here. To meet old Bridget. She's the guide Harriet requires. Harriet is possessed by her hatred. You cannot let her roam free. She's dangerous. She has joined her own client, Doctor. Old Bridget is a saint to the younger Skulls, guiding them to salvation and peaceful existence. I believe I've learned all I need to know. I'm certain you've killed no one, but one day I believe you'll cross the line. <sighs> Logic is a false prophet. Faith is the only path to salvation. What do you mean? We have been blessed with God's eternity. We are the instruments of his divine will. We shall feed the hungry forever and ever. Amen. I haven't the luxury of being able to satisfy my hunger on staunch blood and lifeless flesh. Give yourself over to God, Doctor. Expel your urges and kneel before the Lord in praise. These urges... You know the hunger will never be satisfied. I've come to embrace the everlasting craving. I have sworn to feed only upon the flesh of the dead. It is now my sacrament. Take. Eat. This is my body. So saith the Lord. Boom. 
I really would like to believe your fairy tale. The good ghoul feeding upon the flesh of the dead. But I'm all out of innocence. Do you question my fate, Dr. Reed? Do you remember William? Oh, how his admiration for you was exceeded only by his hunger. May his soul rest in peace. A night will come when you will suffer the same hunger. Someone who trusts you completely, a friend, will die never to wake. You confuse your voracious appetite with my itchy hunger. I would never kill a friend, nor an innocent. I believe you've discovered our defining difference. No! no! Ah! I did! Another corpse thrown in the streets. Someone's playing a very sick game. You again? What do you want? Did you see what just happened? No, I didn't. And I don't care. Really? Why is that? Because this sexist peak is one of the four men who blacklisted me. Good riddance, if you ask me. Well, I'll leave you for now. Goodbye, Miss Paxton.
I know this brooch. This is my mother's. A birthday gift from father. Twenty-nine Pretty Orchard Street. That's near Poplar's district. Why would this man carry off my mother's brooch? I must go there. This was mine! <laughs> <laughs> Yeah! 
It's locked, all right.
You again? What do you want? Do you need medical help, Miss Paxton? I may, but I have no money for your scams, Doctor. I will see you later. Well, I'll leave you for now. Goodbye, Miss Paxton. Glad to see you again, Mr. Reed. Do you need my medical attention, Miss Paxton? I can keep going, Dr. Reed. Of course you can, Miss Paxton, but I wouldn't recommend it. Please, take this. You will feel better. Thank you, Dr. Reed. Thank you. Really. Goodbye, Miss Paxton. Good evening. I'm Dr. Reed. Do you need any help? Rest assured, I will help you, sir. Martin Nightingale, at your service. Please, take a look at my wares. Ha! <laughs> your merchandise. I don't really see anything worth having. No offense. None taken, sir. But please, I need to eat. Perhaps if you keep looking, you'd see something that takes your fancy. I found this watch. It belonged to Miss Gillingham, but I thought you might find it useful. That makes sense. She would have forgotten about the watch by the next day. If you say so. Take this for your trouble, Dr. Reed. I will not forget your gesture, I swear. Show me what you have to offer then, Mr. Nightingale. Good evening, miss. I'm Dr. Jonathan Reed. May I come in? I already took my medication, doctor. Uh, but thank you. I'm sorry, your medication? Have we met before? Don't tease me like that, Jack. Sorry, what? I think I should come in, miss. I'd like to check if everything is okay, what with the epidemic spreading across London. An epidemic, you say? How terrible. I had no idea. But where are my manners? Please do come in, Doctor. You... you are a doctor, yes? So, Dr. Tippett, <laughs> what brings you back here? I heard whispers you had a job at that fancy hospital. I told you my name is Jonathan Reed. Don't you remember? Of course I do. I remember my name too. Gillingham. But you may call me Enid, Doctor. I'm very happy to see you again. Goodbye, Miss Gillingham. It's locked.
It's locked. Vampire hunters will never find us. Here. We're at your mercy. The vampire hunters. We're never at your find mercy. Us here. Will you end us? Old Bridget says you are one to trust.
Rodney, you're the man who killed that gang member, are you not? Is that why you are hiding in this godforsaken place? Yes, I did. I did not even know his name. Then why did you kill him? That arsehole always mocked me for the color of my skin. Usually I let it go. But not that night. We fought. He died. Whatever you've done, you can't spend the rest of your life hiding here. I just wanted to teach him a lesson. Not kill him. I'm not responsible for a murder if I didn't want to commit it. It was an accident. Believe me, Rodney, you won't survive here long. No matter what you did, you must go back to where you used to live. I'll go back to the docks then. But if I die, remember that the blood of Rodney Grader will be on your hands. Oh.